Hello everyone, welcome to the Greek Grammar course. Today we are going to discuss about astigmatism. Astigmatism is a important university question. It comes as SAQ. So we will discuss what is astigmatism. First the definition of astigmatism. Astigmatism is a refractive, it is a type of refractive error. So what is the error in refraction? It is the refracted rays or refraction varies in different meridia, different principal meridians. So what are the types of astigmatism? Regular astigmatism and irregular astigmatism. So what is regular astigmatism? Regular astigmatism is in which the two principal meridian refractions or the rays, rays of light forms an angle of 90 degrees to each other okay if it is if it is other than 90 degrees then what we will call yes you are correct it's irregular astigmatism so we will discuss about the etiology of regular astigmatism so to understand the regular astigmatism etiology so first we will understand how the rays will pass first the light rays will pass through cornea so lens and into the retina so due to the cornea involvement then we will call it as corneal astigmatism corneal astigmatism is a cause so in corneal astigmatism there is an abnormality in curvature curvatural abnormality and it is the most common cause for astig regular astigmatism most common cause for regular astigmatism next is lens so lens then the name is lenticular astigmatism lenticular astigmatism what are the causes the curvatural abnormality due to the change in the curvature radius of curvature will change and power will change and then further refraction will varies or positional due to the change in position of the lens and index 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 means refractive index so if there is change in refractive index there will be change in power okay what is the last cause retina so retinal astigmatism how the retinal astigmatism occurs due to abnormality in obliquely placement of public placement of macula which receives the light rays okay these are the etiologies of regular astigmatism we'll see the types of regular astigmatism first we saw the astigmatism types this is types of regular astigmatism so regular astigmatism is uh, further divided into refractive types by simple compound and mixed we will see what are they in this diagram so in simple astigmatism if you see one one ray take it as horizontal it is vertical so the horizontal rays are reaching the retina so it will form a image but the vertical component is not reaching the retina and it is before the retina so we will call it as simple myopic astigmatism a 
and second one is vertical component is reaching he here either vertical or horizontal one should reach the retina and form a perfect image but other other rays are going behind the retina means horizontal component rays are going behind the retina so it will form hypermetrophia so simple hypermetrophic okay next is compound in compound both the rays are like in simple one is going towards the retina so in compound uh, there is no formation of proper image in as like normal eye so both the rays are in front of the retina so what it will form myopic so compound myopic astigmatism so why we will not call it as myopic because it is not both the uh, both the rays are not meeting each other and not forming an image proper image here in compound myopic astigmatism the image is formed is distorted because the image is forming at different locations next is the same like that if it is behind the retina then we will call it as compound hypermetrophic correct and next if one component is myopic another component is hypermetrophic then that is called as mixed simple compound and mixed according based on the axis this regular astigmatism is further divided into with the rule astigmatism what is with the rule astigmatism normally normally in regular astigmatism there is horizontal and vertical components both are 90 degrees to each other if the but vertical if vert normally in the eyes due to pressure of the eyelids there will be compression so compression of the vertical component so radius of curvature will be more than the horizontal so this is as it is the common thing to occur common thing to occur that's why we are calling it as we are calling as with the rule astigmatism vertical comb vertical meridian is more than horizontal meridian okay what is against the rule astigmatism both the rays are 90 degrees again because it is regular astigmatism you are correct here the horizontal component is more than vertical the other types of astigmatism is oblique oblique astigmatism in oblique astigmatism both the rays are obliquely placed if it is i they are obliquely placed but they are 90 degrees still they are 90 degrees to each other okay next coming to clinical features what will be the clinical features in ophthalmology clinical features are divided into symptoms and signs always in symptoms there is asthenopia what happens in asthenopia asthenopia is tiredness of the eyes relieved by closing the eyes tiredness why there is a tiredness because the image is not proper and it's distorted so there will be tiredness because want to see see our eyes want to see it properly but we can't so we will try to make it proper and eyes gets tired 
so if you close the eyes the tiredness decrease and and it is also caused uh, characterized by asthenopia is characterized by difficulty in focusing difficulty in focusing transient blurred vision dull ache pain of eye dull ache in eye frontal headache sometimes nausea and drowsiness next is blurred vision or defect blurred vision and defective vision next elongation of objects elongation of the objects what they say and keeping the reading materials close to make the image proper next signs signs is what to see the image properly what we will do we will do half closure of lids so like myopia myops the astigmatism may half shut the eyes to achieve the greater clarity of the stenopic vision so half closure of the eyelids make is makes the image proper and the right light rays to enter into the eyes properly next is head tilt oval or tilted optic disc as we mentioned obliquity of the macula will cause astigmatism and if you test with retinoscope or auto refractory meter auto refractory metry we will see different refractory powers different refractory powers power in different meridians okay what are the investigations we will do investigations retinoscopy for the to reveal the different powers in the different meridian keratometry keratometry for the corneal curvature in different meridians for the astigmatism and special test astigmatic fan test jackson's cross cylinder test we will discuss this two test in our further videos okay so how we will treat this condition treatment inc includes spectacles what type of spectacles we will use yes you are correct it's cylindrical powered appropriate appropriate spectacles for the power required and instead of spectacles we can use contact lens and surgical correction of the is also quite effective surgical correction is also quite effective next we'll discuss the small topic 
irregular astigmatism irregular astigmatism is what if the two vertical meridian and horizontal meridian is not 90 degrees is not forming 90 degrees to e which are not right angles to each other then we will call it as irregular astigmatism okay so what what will be the etiology etiology again includes curvature curvature irregular astigmatism found in patients with corneal corneal scars after surgeries and keratoconus comment below what is the sign seen in keratoconus next is index irregular astigmatism in index irregular astigmatism there will be a change in refractive index of the lens and this leads to astigmatism irregular astigmatism astigmatism okay next coming to clinical features the clinical features of irregular astigmatism is defective symptoms clinical features is includes symptoms and signs symptoms include defective vision distortion of objects seeing multiple polypia polyopia means seeing multiple images multiple images next what are the signs on retinoscopy retinoscopy on retinoscopy there will be irregular pupillary reflex pupillary reflex on slit lamp examination slit lamp examination will reveal corneal irregularity or keratoconus I hope you comment the sign seen in keratoconus the next is placidos disc test next is this placidos disc test reveals distorted circles distorted circles that they are seeing next is photo keratoscopy reveals the irregular corneal curvature irregular corneal curvature next is treatment how we will treat this irregular astigmatism first is optical treatment consists of contact lens optical optical treatment consists of consist of contact lens next photo therapeutic keratectomy this is called commonly called PTK procedure this is performed with help of laser eczema laser
this is helpful for patients with superficial scar on the cornea next is surgical treatment which surgical treatment is indicated in extensive corneal scarring and consisting of this surgical treatment consists of <coughs> penetrating keratoplasty keratoplasty and deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty that's it my friends if you like like it share comment subscribe thank you